Sunday here in Vegas and I am craving some Mexican bread. Most people that go into a Mexican bakery see all this beautiful bread and all these pastries, but chances are you're not really going to love all of them. I'm Mexican American and I grew up on Mexican pan, pan dulce, Mexican sweet bread, and I'm not really a fan of every single piece of bread I can try. So I thought I'd head to the Mexican market and bring some Mexican sweet bread into my car and try them in front of you and describe them the best way I know how. So you can kind of know when you go to the Mexican market looking for pan dulce or for bread or for a pastry, you kind of know what things taste like instead of actually spending your money on something that you might not even like. So let's head down there and see what they have. Don't be greedy. Let's pass it along and make sure everyone gets a piece. Hey, I got my pan dulce. I got a variety and I got a total of nine pieces of pan. Each piece of bread um, cost 99 cents and I came to Gardenas because I feel like they always have the most variety. Only 99 cents plus tax! What I'm gonna do is start one by one and showing you what it is and kind of describing it. So this is the typical quintessential mantecada. It's called a mantecada. Basically it's butter bread. The best way to describe this would be buttery pound cake muffin. That's what I would think. That's their very, very popular. So it looks like a pound cake. Let's try it. I mean, I've tried some really good mantecadas and then I've tried some not so good ones. So, mmm, this one's good because it's not as dry. Sometimes they can be very dry. Mmm, really good. I gotta take it easy because I got a lot of pieces of bread to try. Take it easy. This one? I'm not sure what it's called. I saw the name on there, but I forgot. I think maybe like sencillo or something, which means simple. But this is basically sheet cake with icing and sprinkles. That's basically what it is. And they sell it in the bread section. This is one of my favorites, but only because I love cake. So if you love cake, this will be one of your faves. Mmm. so good every panaderia or every market does it differently makes it differently but it's sheet cake but mexican sheet cake which is different i mean you just have to try as not as sweet as american cake i feel like this is an oreja this is called an oreja and what oreja stands for in, in english is ear because it looks like an ear this is an oreja and it's it's basically like flaky pastry dough so you're gonna see i hope i don't make a mess though. you see how flaky and crusty it is these are really good they're kind of like iced on the outside and very flaky crusty mm. these are so good if you like if you love like a good like a croissant croissant like a flaky dough these are bomb and they're so buttery they have a slight sweetness like almost like a, a honey coating bomb 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 mm. so good this one a niño envuelto or rollo de coco basically niño envuelto means a swaddled baby like when you roll up a baby in a blanket Um, or a rollo de coco, which means a roll, a coconut roll, because it has like strawberry in the center and it's kind of like a log, right? They put uh, like jam, like strawberry jam, and then they roll it in coconut and then they slice it up. So it has coconut on the edge. This one's really good. This is one's another one of my favorites. Mmm. It's so, so soft and spongy. Mmm. This is another one of my favorites. Ah! It's falling apart. Hold on. It's called pan de mantequilla. And this is what it looks like and it's basically a bread it's almost like a french bread you can see like little specks of like nutmeg and like 
I don't know if it's nutmeg, cinnamon. There's something in there, like a clove. I don't know. Anise, maybe. But the top of it is a is a butter, is butter, and then they turn it upside down and put sugar on it. Butter, sugar, and on this bread, that's kind of like a French bread, like a baguette, but not a baguette, French bread. But see, it has like a bunch of like seasonings in it. It's, act it's actually really good. And right now, this one's really soft, but when it's a little harder, like sometimes they use their day-old bread to do it because it's really good. Let's try it. Mmm. It tastes... Tastes like it has Christmas herbs in it. Like anise. I think it's anise. It's so good. Kind of take okay, I need a water break. It's too much fun. Okay, how many do I have left, guys? And this is arroyo de queso con chile. And it has cheese inside of it and, and jalapeno or pep peppers in it, supposedly. I don't even know if it does. Can't, I don't see nothing, but it's like a flaky croissant kind of thing, and it has cheese in it. Mmm. Mmm. It's sweet. I'm extremely confused. I don't think it has jalapeno in it. Maybe I got the wrong one. One of my other favorites, the plain old empanada. So most places have empanadas. Empanadas de guayaba, empanadas filled with piña with pineapple which this is empanadas with crema and they usually have a different texture on the outside usually the guayaba ones are like sprinkled with sugar and the crema ones are sprinkled with sugar and the las de manzana the apple ones and the piña ones are like this they're not sprinkled with sugar but it's basically like a turnover and filled with whatever flavor fruit you want this one's piña which is pineapple and it's pineapple is my favorite mmm Mmm. Sometimes the middle's not that good. This is so bomb. Mm. I got two more. The, the very, very last one I'm gonna save for last because I feel like it's the most popular. So this is the next to last. This is number eight. We have one more. This one is the pan de queso, queso crema, which is pretty much cream cheese on a pastry. It's really good. Kind of like sugary bread. And then it has this cream cheese-like custard. Mm. I will say though, Mexican sweet bread is not very sweet. So if you're really craving sweet, 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 don't expect to find super sweet because it's not. So this might be for you if you don't really like sweet, that much sweet, you know what I mean? I think you can guess which one I saved for last because it's the most popular. You see it everywhere. It's the concha. The concha is my least favorite. <laughs> I don't know what it is i feel like it's dry i feel like there's no like nothing really special about it but it's quintessential mexican sweet bread basically like regular bread on the bottom the top part is not like a frosting it's almost like a different type of bread or like a shortbread or like a cookie type of texture up here it's kind of crumbly let me open it see how crumbly and dry it is it also has the specks of like i don't know comino maybe nutmeg cinnamon something in it this type of bread the concha is great if you're gonna dunk it in coffee or you're gonna dunk it in hot chocolate you're gonna make give, give it some moisture let's try this conchado mm. there is no flavor yeah concha is not my favorite i'm sorry the taste isn't bad i think it's the the dryness the i don't know there's nothing really special about it maybe there's definitely people that love conchas. Anyway, now that I now that I made a mess of my pan dulce bag, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video because I feel like sometimes we get intimidated, you know? Going into certain places, trying different things, tasting different pan, different fruits, going in and trying a whole different food that we're not used to sometimes is intimidating. So I figure I can make a video like this and next time you guys pass by a Cardenas market or Mexican market, Latin market, wherever you are, you won't feel intimidated and you'll go right in and you'll decide to pick up an empanada or a niño envuelto or even a concha. So anyway, if you like this video, I hope you can give me a thumbs up. I hope you can subscribe and follow and tell me maybe something else you want me to try in my city or wherever I'm at. So I'd be happy to. Thanks for watching.